So once the Man the Guns update comes out and improves naval combat immensely, I might also grab myself Wake the Tiger, uh, which improves the Japan focus tree, uh, and play a game as Japan. Because I think Japan is actually one of the most fun nations to play as, because they are, of course, an Axis um, power, but they're not actually all that powerful, because they're, you know, Japan. Hello, we just finished three techs all at the same time, which, okay, that's pretty awesome. Uh, this is a little ahead of time, but I think we're going to grab it, just because we can. Uh, this is all ahead of time. Are we going to need paratroopers for um, invading Denmark? It could be helpful, actually. We're not really going to... Mm, saying that, that could save us a lot of lives. Yeah, because if we parachuted into the other side of Copenhagen... That would stop us having to cross here, which would, yeah, cut them off from their supplies. I think getting paratroopers early is probably a good idea. So we're going to do that. We are certainly going to do that. Right, support companies, uh, field hospitals, that's quite important. Though we don't currently have the, uh, the industry to build motorized for that. We might want to start down one of these doctrines. We'll just grab reinforce rate plus five percent. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna be able to get field hospitals for a little while. We'll start down the line doctrines. Let's grab mobile warfare, not only for the population increase, but also because literally, like our manpower situation is so horrendous. We're gonna need to have literally every single man in a tank. Um, to, <laughs> to make them count. So, yeah. Can you guys stop training yet? No, you can't. Because you don't quite have full equipment yet, do you? Oh, no, you do. Oh, no, no, no. Waiting for equipment. They're waiting for infantry equipment and support equipment still. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Hello, ball bearing factory. What do we even get from that? We've got a civilian factory. Okay, cool. A few more. And then we'll have that research slot. Then we can start doing the ones, uh, the focuses that give us military factories, which would be very, very nice. Also, just have a drink. I apologise if you hear any squeaking in the background. Um, that's uh, parrots. And you're probably thinking, Beardy, you live in England. What the hell? Uh, yeah, we have parrots uh, where I live because they were escaped pets. Uh, I think like five to ten years ago. They were quite a while ago. And they assumed they'd just die off, but instead uh, they thrived. Um, so now we have native parrots. Uh, there are loads of them. They're everywhere. They're beautiful green parrots. They're actually really kind of annoying um, <laughs> because they're really loud. But uh, no, they're, they're pretty. Uh, it's pretty funky. We have people, even people who live relatively near me, come over to my house, or whatever, and they see freaking parrots on the bird feeder. They're like, "What? We live in England. Why are there parrots?" Um, but yeah, we actually have native parrots now. So fun little fact for you. Right. So let's get this. Um, Military factory construction speed going. War industrialist. Oh, has completed Bofa's Nobel Krit. What's that? Where's Bofa's Nobel Krit? Oh, there it is. Ah. Okay, well, we haven't done that yet. Um, could we get the other one? We can get the captain of industry, but not the war industrialist. Or should we grab ourselves a communist revolutionary? Hmm. Bonuses that can improve communism. No. Hem. Okay. Well, instead we're just going to reduce our industrial research time. So that resources. We might. Ooh. We might need to invest in synthetic resources uh, resources down the road. Considering our situation, we're not going to really, really have much in the way of rubber. But I think the industrial research time minus 10% is going to be more useful. Yeah, we'll import oil from the Soviets. We import rubber from the, the British Malaya or the Dutch East Indies or whatever in the meantime. Uh, we're going to war with the fascists first, so that's alright. We'll grab that. That can only help. There we go. No divisions basic training. That's because we haven't got any guns for them. Hello. We finally got enough artillery for our troops. That's nice. Um, but yeah, we need to have a lot more guns. Uh, I'm not going to import oil. I know we're building destroyers at a reduced rate, but we only need three oil. So it's slowing the production down a bit, but, you know, whatever. We don't actually need much of a navy at the moment, anyway. Lovely, 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 jubbly. 
my other choice uh, was actually going to be the Netherlands, um, but I thought Sweden might be a little bit more fun because the Netherlands just sort of gets ruffle stomped by the German Reich early on. Um, although maybe if you went fascist and joined them, it could be quite interesting. Maybe we'll do that in the next game if it isn't uh, Japan. I don't know. I think the Netherlands is even more difficult than Sweden though uh, because they're in such a heated location. Sweden can remain neutral as a thing. So if things start going tits up, you can just sort of chill and wait out the war. You can't really do that as the Netherlands. You're up against the wall. Um, so yeah, you can't just decide to intervene when you want to like we can here, uh, which is rather nice. Here we go. Finance. State-owned enterprises to expand the workforce and lower unemployment while boosting homegrown production output. Wonderful. Well, I guess as the Dutch, you do get the Dutch East Indies, um, which just gives you like infinite oil. An infinite rubber. Like, look at this. It's just no, not infinite oil. Basically, infinite rubber though. Look at that. They do have still have a crazy amount of oil as well, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, you're pretty well off resources wise. Um, and I guess you can invade Belgium and Luxembourg probably before the British and French start getting too pissed at you. So yeah, <sighs> have some water. I would like to start producing motorized, but we don't really have the uh, industry for it yet. We have got an extra factory on infantry equipment, though, which is nice. And our manpower is very steadily increasing. Um, we have a couple of national focuses, as I said, to improve it. La Torna and uh, Home Guard, which is nice. But to get Home Guard, we have to do rationing. Hello, I didn't mean to change the game speed. There we go. We have to do rationing, uh, which requires some world tension. But we can do that one, I guess. We've got ourselves Mobile Warfare. Wonderful. Wunderbar, wunderbar, wunderbar. Now, I believe we were going to grab ourselves some support companies, but still, mm, don't have the industry, so we just keep going down these. This has industrial stuff we can do. There is industrial stuff we can do. Let's do that. Industry stuff always comes first. Increasing construction speed because we need to construct new factories. Get on that. We've got quite a lot of buffs to our factory output, actually. It's quite nice. Um, but yeah, getting those early paratroopers, as I said, is also quite important. Um, just as I said, because I think, well, we need to basically be as cheap with our manpower as we possibly can, make it count as much as possible. And doing a naval crossing here to Copenhagen into a city, that's going to be like a meat grinder. So if we can drop some paratroopers here and then starve them out, uh, that'd be pretty damn sweet. But that does mean we're going to need to start building some transport planes sometime soon, but hey. Right. I kind of want to become communist soonish. Let's get that communist revolutionary in here. Captain of industry as well. Nah. Or do we go down? No. Let's get the communist revolutionary in here. Ah, let's become commie already. I'm tired of waiting. Finance state-owned enterprise. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful industrial research. Extra research slot. Wonderful. And then, um, I think we'll grab some more of the industrial techs, actually, because some of these are pretty damn good. Hello, Concentrated Industry 2. Hindenburg Incident. Hello, it didn't explode this time. Is it just like a 50-50 as to whether it explodes on each game? Do you kind of debate the point of that? How are the Danish dudes doing? I oh, know the Denmark dudes, aren't they? Not Danish dudes. Uh, they can stop exercising now because they're all trained. Very nice, very nice. Uh, they still don't quite have enough equipment, um, but they'll be alright soonish. Uh, we are going to have to update the division templates soon, though. But I'm going to wait till we actually have um, enough guns for them before we <laughs> before we do that. Come on, hurry up, build infantry equipment. Get on it. There we go. We got our paratroopers, though. That's nice. I appreciate that. Uh, our sport weapons are still all ahead of time. Let's get researching the field hospital. Okay, we need to make sure that we save as much as many people as possible. Even if they get their legs blown off, just sew it back up, send them back out into combat. We're going to be conscripting grannies and 16-year-old boys. It's going to be uh, it's going to be great. Scraping the bottom of the barrel. Send them into battle. Send them into the meat grinder that is the invasion of Copenhagen. I mean, it looks like they've got pretty much all their troops there. So if we sandwich their troops here, put our navy here so that we get a bombardment bonus as well. That should be pretty sweet. And there we go, free civilian factories. Wonderful. Build some more military factories. We've got loads more building space now. Uh, I don't want to build, fill up the building slots. I don't want to leave some. Hello, we've got loads of slots down here. 
Holy bejesus. Build a bunch there. There we go. That'll keep them busy for a while. Six factories. I think we have quite a few. Um... Yeah, yeah. Because we get 10 from trade and we own 13 civilian factories. So, yeah. Construction wise, we're doing pretty well. Millie Rare Heart, Heart circumnavigates the globe. There we go. This is like uh, already going alternate history, isn't it? Because the Hindenburg didn't explode and Amelia Earhart didn't disappear. So, very nice, very nice. Hello, leadership purges in the Soviet Union. Oh, hello, Japan declared war on Shanxi. Well, China's already going to start disappearing. And here we go. The reason I don't want to play um, without historical focuses on. Wait, what did we finish? Oh, this is our extra research slot, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely. Um, we don't need synthetic oil just yet. Can't get that. I guess I'll grab the reinforced rate. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I, I played a game as fascist Australia. I wanted to join the Japanese in their invasion of China. And communist China joined the East Asian co-prosperity sphere, right? Communist China joined Japan and invaded the rest of China. And all the territory that I took, were like pretty much all of southern China, went to communist China. And it really pissed me off. Uh, so that's uh, that's the main reason why we're not doing it. All right, this requires the Shebleble agreement. Uh, this gives us civilian factories. This gives us a bunch of construction speed stuff. Uh, we can't get rationing just yet. We could get some more manpower. We don't need it uh, right now. Yeah, we'll just do all of these as fast as possible. Do all the industrial uh, text. Hello. Oh, hello. Everyone's joining the Chinese United Front. Marco Polo Bridge Incident. I'm pretty sure that comes before the invasion of China, but all right. Yeah, there we go. Chinese United Front. Waking the tiger, working its magic. But we're going to let them get on with that. Leave them be. What decisions do we have? Hello. We can prepare for a civil war. Communism on the rise. Prepare for civil war. Uh, no. Open up political discourse. Let's open up the acceptance of diversion viewpoints in the government. Perhaps this will eventually make it possible to effect a peaceful challenge in the politics of our nation. And we've got 43% communism. Yeah, open up political discourse. Do that! There we go. Then that opens up the ability to hold a national referendum. I do like the new decision system, actually. It's pretty sweet. Um, it makes a lot more sense to have to make individual decisions and have different you know, uh, costs, other than just have events pop up that randomly give you extra communism support. But there we go. So once we have more than 50%, we can hold ourselves a national referendum, because we do not want to have a civil war. That's just really dumb if you can avoid it uh, unlike Spain how is that war going by the way ah oh, it's pretty pretty even right now the Republicans are doing pretty damn well uh, I'm not gonna lie they're about to split the nationalist forces in two if Republican Spain wins I would be very surprised but that'll be a win for us because we're going commie so we just have another ally which would be pretty sweet I haven't seen Republican Spain win for a long long time so that would be certainly something uh to behold. Right, I'm already researching that. Is this stuff still ahead of time? Yeah, it is still ahead of time. Uh, why is this stuff down here? Special forces. No. Okay, this is all new. Interesting. We can research some tanks. Not that we can afford them yet. Uh, let's continue the land doctrines. There we are. Wunderbar, wunderbar, wunderbar. I don't know why I'm speaking German, because we're playing as Sweden. I keep clicking up there because I'm used to playing multiplayer. In multiplayer, pressing space to pause and pause doesn't work for some reason. Um, so I just used to all, going all the way up there and clicking that to pause instead of pressing space. I probably should uh, get back into just pressing the space bar to do it. But hey, we don't need to increase our resource gain just yet. Don't really need to do naval research. We'll improve our artillery though. That can't hurt. Do that. There we are. Wonderful. Oh, public construction investments. And Salzjubad agreement. 
sign the historic South Yubad Agreement and define once and for all that the government will be kept out of any private negotiations between employees and their employers to increase competitiveness of our industry. Two times research bonus for industry. Very nice. And then we can get ourselves two more military factories and some aluminium. Yeah, sure. Then we could probably grab all of this stuff. Still, building up the industry. Uh, oh, hello. We actually have five military factories on infantry equipment. Oh, we almost out of the deficit. That's very, very nice. Much appreciated. Sort of dragging ourselves out of our uh, industrial slump. Which is certainly easier than with a lot of other nations. It's a lot easier than it was with Turkey, that's for sure. By 1937, we've already got a pretty decent war machine. Showing that uh, Sweden, they're pretty pretty sweet to play as. It's just manpower. It's just manpower that is just crippling. <laughs> How long till communism? Oh, we're so close. Shang-Chi and the Pan giant sign of white peace? You what? Okay. Sure. All right. Guess they're just focusing on uh, mainland China. But uh, yeah, it's just that manpower, which is oh, really going to limit us. <laughs> We're literally going to have to send every like second person into combat to uh, to try and deal with that. Uh, let's get more on infantry equipment. Yeah, we need a lot more infantry equipment. Then the next one we'll put on. Um, Support equipment. Right. Modify government. We probably want to save the political power, actually, because we're pretty damn close to 50%. So, yeah. Let's save that political power for now. And wait until we're on 50% communism. And then we shall become communist. It will be glorious. Right. We've got our field hospital. Wonderful. We want to start building motorized pretty damn soon. Uh, but in the meantime, logistics company? Yeah, it's important for our paratroopers. Grab that. Dun dun. 1937 and 1938 are kind of sort of it's very slow years when it comes to research. Nothing much really happens. Uh, this is all really ahead of time, so we don't really need anything in the industrial tree right now. We could grab ourselves a computing machine a tiny bit ahead of time, though, so we'll do that. Oh, we got our Salts Yubad. I definitely butchered that agreement. Right, military factories or aluminium? Grab the military factories first. There we go. How close are we? Oh, so close. Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. They are upsetting the already fragile balance in the region. Mm. Naughty, naughty Italy. We will be coming to spank you later. That sounded a lot um, <laughs> weirder than I intended. Soldiers desert to communist partisans. Hello. Soldiers are deserting and refusing to fight for their country, sometimes going as far as joining partisan movements that claim to be preparing for a revolution. Hello. We get an increase in the change of um, popularity of communist, but uh, we lose a bit of recruitable population. But we do get daily communism support plus 0.05, so that's alright. Lose a bit of manpower, we get a bit more communism support, and boom, we can hold the referendum. Hold the national referendum! Communist demand referendum. The referendum is preferable to a bloody revolt. Yes! Communism! Revolution! Glorious. Falkenet. I have no idea what that means in Swedish, but oh my god, look at our flag. Oh, that's glorious. Look at it. Who's this sexy man? Sven Linderot. Look at those lips. <laughs> nothing attractive about that man. <laughs> Oh, great. Awesome. We are now communist. That's pretty freaking epic. So, we can uh, arrest... Oh, we could have done this ages ago. Whoops. We kind of slowed down this uh, communism thing. To be fair, we probably needed to be a uh, communist to... Yeah, we need to be communist to do a lot of these things anyway. So, once we've grabbed that, we've got our military factories. Let's start fucking with uh, foreign policy, shall we? So, we can remove King Gustav V. And gain revolutionary competence, which loses us construction speed and factory output for a year. Uh, that's arresting the royalists. Well, we can abolish the monarchy. And it just removes... Wait, what? 
Oh, okay. So uh, no, this is great, actually. So if we had only 25% support, then we could just abolish the, mon um, a mon the monarchy and remove the king, but we would basically be really incompetent because we wouldn't actually have a proper leadership yet. Or if we have more support, which we do now, we can just remove the king. So that's fine. Uh, what does he give us? Oh, he, he loses us stability. So yeah, we'll do that next. Um, that's for sure. And then we'll demand Ireland, however you pronounce that. Grab those islands from the Finns, fund Norwegian communists, and then we will create a Scandinavian Socialist Union. Hell yeah. We have to wait for them to become uh, communists though. So yeah. That's alright. We shall spurn revolution in our sister country of Norway. Get some Vikings on our side. That could be pretty nice. How are you guys doing? You guys are alright. We actually have um, manpower and stuff now. So first of all, let's delete that. Second of all... Okay, we've already got a few of these. That's pretty nice. We need field hospitals, but we don't have any motorized yet. So that's going to be kind of redundant. Uh, but let's add some infantry to these dudes. How much um, artillery do we have? 278. Yeah, definitely not enough to give them like a proper artillery thing. How much artillery would that require? An additional 396 towed artillery. Yeah, no good. We'll just do this for now. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. We've got a combat width of 20 and all infantry. Uh, when we have enough artillery, we'll start putting artillery into our divisions. For now, that's pretty good. Save. Cool. There we go. Okay, cool. How's our cavalry division? Pretty terrible. Um, tank division. And we've got our paratrooper division. Uh, we don't have the army experience to be screwing with that too much. Um, let's keep them training. Get ourselves some more army experience, actually. Uh, we probably need to get ourselves a theorist pretty soon. Uh, military theorist, yeah, there we go. We need to grab him next once we have enough political power. Right, we can take some decisions. We can institute press censorship and keep our communism. Um, but I don't think we really have to worry about that. Improve working conditions. It increases our stability. Holy crap, our stability is horrendous. Our stability is actually utterly awful. And having the king. in charge is really not helping. Oh my god, we're on 8% stability. We are like about to erupt into civil war. This will give us weekly stability plus 0.5% uh, and reduce our factory output. For our factory output is just tanked. Why does our weekly change minus 1% if our current ruling party popularity is plus 8. Surely it should be plus 7.3. But somehow it's decreasing. Okay, whatever. We just have to depose the king. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get rid of you, King Gustav. Sorry, man, but you're a pain in the ass. Um, and we can't afford to lose the factory output from improving working conditions, so we're just not going to do it. Yeah. Ouch. Did not realize how unstable our country was. But uh, yeah, apparently having a, a peaceful communist revolution is um, very bad. <laughs> yeah, um, yikes. We're going to be on one of those like times lists of most world most unstable countries. How can Sweden be unstable? What is there to be unstable in Sweden? Just It's just Ikea's really, isn't it? That's all they really got there. Right? Okay, stop being racist. Um, <laughs> it's not really racist, though. They do love their ideas. Okay, continue. Okay, let's save up, and then let's uh, get that theorist, get ourselves some army experience. We're not going to improve the working conditions. Hello, Fall of Nanjing. A significant development. Hmm. Bloody hell. <laughs> 8%. I just didn't see that. Oh, hello. 
Angelus of Austria and organize the mechanical works. Oh, there we go, that's now Germany. Right, Germany's certainly not uh, slowing down. Let's hurry up and do... We've got two years before they invade Norway, so yeah. Abolish the monarchy! The king is a dedicated anti-Bolshevist and cannot be allowed to continue to oppress the people anymore. We must abolish the monarchy. There we go, let's do that. Get rid of the sly bugger. Stick one on there. Oh, hello, we don't have enough aluminium for that. Okay, we'll do the National Focus, which gives us more aluminium uh, sometime in the future. But right now, yeah, we're going to have to stick with it how it is. Just put these all on infantry equipment, which is alright. Actually, we could probably do some more artillery. There we go, stick them on the artillery. That's good. Cool. Look at this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, so our, our export focus on our concentrated industry kind of balances out our stability debuff. Um, but yeah, holy crap. Let's get that theorist in, shall we? Or can we get a dude that increases stability here? No, not really. No stability, dude. Right, military theorist. I'm experienced gaining land doctrine research time. Let's grab him. There we go. And we'll start having enough army experience to actually continue screwing with our divisions. And these guys actually need to keep training since we increase the size of their divisions anyway, so it's all right. I don't think we're going to have paratroopers in time to invade Denmark, which is a little awkward. Um, could we launch a naval invasion though? That's the question. I kind of want to get taking Denmark actually. That could be very helpful to do early on. Could always take Finland, but. I don't want to sort of take a leaf out of the Winter War book, you know, um, and have a disastrous invasion of Finland. They're probably more powerful than Denmark. Um, and as I said, it gives us less of a tactical advantage. We're about to demand some islands from them anyway. So, let's have a look. Do we have landing craft? We do. We have transport ships. Okay. So, we could send 10 troops on a naval invasion. Of course, we need to continue training them up first. Um, but we could send them on a naval invasion. Which is risky. But if we send uh, a naval invasion here to Jutland. Invade down through there. Just leave like one troop here to stop them pushing into our territory. That could work. And then we can sandwich them. I do still like the paratrooper idea though. Let's build some planes. Let's get those transport planes going. Put them to the... Uh... Oh. There we go. Put them there so they get better priority than the support equipment. We need more aluminium. We need to do that national focus that gives us aluminium for sure. Yeah. But still, as long as we have... Uh... Oh, we get one in like one year. Okay. Um... Hmm. Maybe paratroopers aren't going to happen anytime soon. No. Let's leave it for now. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. Let's not mess with it. Maybe wait till a bit, we're a bit more stable. I don't think we could really even justify with our current war support. Um, yeah, I don't think we can even justify having a war right now. So, <laughs> how long would it take to actually justify a war goal against these guys? 220 days. Yeah, quite a while. Best part of a year. So I think maybe if we go to war with them, I'm oh, saying that. We'll wait till world tension increases. Okay, I don't want to be that guy. Although I very much would like to take Denmark. Urgh. This is a real conundrum. Do we invade them now? Do we? Well, not obviously now, but I mean in like. Pretty much by next year um, <laughs> on the time scale. We're about to abolish the monarchy though. Let's abolish the monarchy, then we'll start justifying. Screw it. Abolish the monarchy! Yay! Ruling party popularity. Alright. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so our stability should hopefully start increasing. Oh, so the reason it's 8% is because of the uh, ruling party popularity. Okay. So then if we start. Okay, so now we have to just work on increasing it. Okay, so we can demand that. 
uh, then fund Norwegian communists and do all that. Uh, but we need some aluminium first to start building some planes. 